Hello, everyone. Wow, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Um, I've definitely aged a few years, um, but I'm just so thankful that the videos I made years and years ago are still helping people with H. pylori. And so this is just a quick update video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I still am H. pylori free. I have never had it again. Um, I don't have gastritis anymore. My stomach cleared up after I um, utilized some of those supplements and um, stayed away from trigger foods and trigger drinks. Um, so I've been able to upkeep my stomach health these eight years since H. pylori. Can you believe it? It's almost been a decade. Um, something that I did want to update everyone on, I know that before I made little PDF about basically compiling what I said in my YouTube videos in an easy to access format. Um, and I was having that on Gumroad where you could purchase that as a download. But I've actually been wanting to get this on Amazon for quite a bit. I feel like Amazon is so much more accessible. Um, Amazon Kindle, many people have Amazon Kindle Unlimited, so this could be a free resource for people to read. Um, and so that is something that I did. You can now read H. pylori sucks. I kept the title because it's just, that's everything I feel about H. pylori uh, summed up. So you can uh, go on Amazon Kindle and find H. pylori sucks. Um, if you don't have Amazon Kindle Unlimited, you can read it for um, a small price. I think it's $1.99. Um, it's about 30 pages long. Everything that I say here on this channel um, is in the book, but it's also, um, it has some additional information too. Um, so that is available now. You can go get that uh, copy. Um, I might put it in paperback as well, just in case people don't want to read it on a computer. Um, I want it to be accessible because, yeah, the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel was to tell people that there's hope and there's healing and you can do it naturally. You don't have to do triple therapy, which I was definitely unable to do, but doctors told me that it was essentially the only way, but I'm here to tell you that it's not the only way. Um, yeah. So there's that at the end of the book, I have a Q and a section that I plan to keep updating as I interact with more and more people on this platform. And, um, that's something else I really want to do. I want to do an updated Q and a video being eight years after H. pylori, maybe talking about um, how have I maintained my stomach? What have I been avoiding um, in my diet? What, uh, what things have maybe been helpful for me to continue to keep my stomach in, uh, in good health? Yeah. Ask me any questions that you have. It doesn't have to necessarily be related to um, my stomach health now, but it could be related to some H. pylori um, stuff that maybe I didn't cover in my videos. Um, yeah, so I just want to leave this really open. I know that this is kind of an unorganized video, but I just wanted to pop in and let you know about that resource on Amazon and um, give you the opportunity to ask questions to where I can answer in a video format coming up. All right, well, you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.